Happy Thanksgiving week! We're doing a full day of eating. It's a Monday, we're gonna rise and grind, which we've been doing, and I'm exhausted. I wanted to do a bulletproof coffee, but like, it was just one of those mornings. Instant coffee with milkadamia and sweetener. Anything new with Theo? He's full on like grabbing stuff. Julius. He's so much more playful and smiley. He's eating a lot more efficiently, so I'm finally like actually enjoying breastfeeding. And he's going on his first plane ride this week. We're excited to uh, show him off. Everyone in Matt's family is finally getting to meet him. And then I just have a coffee here with cream, heavy cream. And I changed the filters on this Berkey water filter. So we're gonna do a test today to make sure I did it right. We're gonna put red food coloring in. So there's two fluoride filters on the bottom. Then there's just the normal charcoal water filters on the top. So we're actually out of the red. I'm gonna use, I guess, blue. So I'm gonna do like most of this tube. Whoa, very dark blue. We'll be back in eight hours to see. Okay guys, it's 9.30 and I'm going to have some of this bone broth. We got it at Whole Foods, it was on sale. Still quite expensive, I think it was like seven dollars for this which is three servings and i just like to add a little salt to mine she acted really cool at first and she was like no i don't believe in that nonsense come to find out she's a hardcore believer in astrology what do you have to say for yourself i mean you're just over exaggerating for the video but yeah i enjoy it i think a lot of people enjoy astrology we got recommended this by actually our house inspector comment below if you believe in astrology and give me a reasoning why not it's not even like it, you're making it as if it's like my religion. I just enjoy it. Don't you enjoy fantasy football? Like to an, to an extreme degree That's where based it's in reality and it's competitive and it's fun. It's not based in reality. You're picking players from different teams and putting them on one yeah, team. Yeah, the players actually exist and they're actually generating Stars statistics. Stars actually exist. Zodiac has been around longer than the NFL. I feel like we really just ramble about our lives a lot now and not so much about the food. So bone broth, why would you want it? It helps bridge the gap between an ancestral diet and our modern diet because in our modern diets, we eat a lot of muscle meat not a lot of collagen bone brothy type things so it could be a good idea to include because if you think 50,000 years ago you catch an animal you have a certain amount of muscle meat you have a certain amount of organs then what do you do with all the bones there's actually like a lot of bones right way more than we currently use so that's kind of a reason you see all these collagen supplements becoming really popular same sort of reason although it's definitely better to have actual bone broth than like a powdered industrialized collagen supplement. The membership site, guys. I can't believe how good. We're still changing it up, colors and stuff. Yeah, we're changing it up a little bit, but man, oh man. If you want to sign up for the waiting list, remember, ketoconnect.net, the Curve membership. Just en enter your email there and you'll be the first to know. If you haven't seen, in the last several vlogs, I've been doing like higher carbs. So you saw me eating like oatmeal and like this was all strictly for breastfeeding purposes to see, you know, if I could increase my milk supply. So I was doing that for like, I want to say like three good weeks. So I was giving it like a solid time experiment. After doing that, I was like, all right, I don't like feel as optimal. Like I was starting to feel very just like off when I would like eat something higher in carb. Like, you know, like that sugar rush or that caffeine rush you feel like your eyes are bulging and like, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling great. So I was like, I think I want to go back to the way I feel best, but I still want to maintain my supply. I would say though, don't just jump from one extreme to another because I did that and my milk supply definitely dipped. Now I'm just doing like 50 net carbs, um, high fat and like moderate protein and my milk supply is actually a lot better than it was on the carbs. So today you'll see me just eating like a normal keto diet, no limit on the fat. I mean, the more fat, the more calories and I think that's the most important, the water and the calories. It's not really like the sources of foods. You're so cute, you're so cute. All right guys, I'm gonna be making some bone broth as well. I just thawed a new one. And in here is a tablespoon of ghee and some pink salt. So I'm just gonna add my hot bone broth. So Theo has been down for a nap since, what time is it? It's 10.30, so he went down at nine. So he's been napping for about an hour and a half. So I'm pretty sure he'll wake up here soon. So I'm hopefully gonna be able to drink this, get some work done, and then Theo time. Mama's starving. We got this ground beef here. I'm gonna do, it's about a pound. I think I'm just gonna do half. I'm gonna go a little lower protein. I've been doing really high protein lately. I am gonna add some fat. I would add butter, but Mega's doing no dairy. 
You just opened a new one? Oh. You just opened like 17 jars of fat. I can't, I can't. We already had one open. I can't with you. It's so frustrating. I'll close it. A good tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half for us to split of the tallow. And if you guys don't know, tallow is just rendered fat. So this is bison tallow, so it's rendered bison fat. I think they make it from like the kidney fat, suet. And then I'm gonna do like eight ounces of the ground beef and probably about eight eggs. And this is a really good starter keto recipe in my opinion because it's very filling, it's very easy to make. It's two and three ingredients, you know? And it's very nutrient dense. I'm just gonna make this into a mix em up. I usually have the burner pretty high. And if you guys are new to keto, try having a zero carb or a really low carb first meal of the day. It's easy to do. You just do meat and eggs basically. Uh, you can do cheese to this if you want. And the fats really, I make it really filling. Feel like that gives you just a lot more leeway the rest of the day if you want to have something like, like a squash for dinner. And what percentage fat is that beef? If you get grass fed grown beef, you really, they don't make it uh 80 20 because you can't really fatten up a grass-fed animal that much oh we got a baby oh he's always hungry whenever i wake him up he's like a fresh newborn from the womb and i love it oh you're my sad boy he's looking at the camera okay here's the completed meals and mega has asked me to put some barbecue sauce on hers this is what she uses sugar-free Two carbs per two tablespoons. You can find this at Publix, Kroger, Walmart. And I'm gonna use a little bit of this, which is just a really good hot sauce. I found this at Whole Foods. So if you're lonely, you know I'm here waiting for you. I'm just a I'm just a shy away from you. And if you leave here, you leave me broken, shattered by. I'm just a Looks like Mega and Theo are going somewhere. Yay! We're going to this new market that is 15 minutes away. It's called Nature's Pick Market. And I read a review that said it's better than Whole Foods. Heading into Nature's Pick! So for the first time, I'm actually a little nervous about recording because it's like, I don't know, everyone can see you recording and I don't want to get in trouble, but this place is amazing. They have a ton of raw stuff. They have raw Carlton Farms, the milk we get here. This is all local grass-fed meats. Look at that. And then they have, those are Matt's favorites. I'm gonna grab those. So you're definitely not allowed to film in there. Um, someone actually came to like check to see if I was filming because they heard the camera, I believe, but I wasn't filming at the time and I was just like bouncing Theo around so like they didn't say anything. But uh, that place was amazing. And right before I could go check out the other section on the other side of the store, Theo started losing, losing it. So I had to take him out of the carrier and held him and he was fine, but um, I just think it's just one of those days. So. We're gonna head back home, but I got some stuff. I'll show you when we get back, and then I definitely wanna go back there with Matt, maybe tomorrow. Oh, Theo's crying. Okay, uh, we'll see you at home. Theo's snoring up a storm, and I feel so bad taking him out of the car seat when he's sleeping. They had raw milk there and kefir I showed grains. I showed everything I could. Uh, I got some footage so you can see what they have. They you know what I think? Everything was local, too, all the vegetables. I got these, because these are your favorite. I like these because they're dairy free just because usually like Halo Top and stuff is just really low quality dairy So I kind of prefer dairy free low carb ice creams if I can find them And it's easier to just eat a bar instead of like the whole pint, right? Six net carbs it looks like And then I got these were on sale How much? 
$6.99. Oh, that's a good deal. I got some of those because I love duck fat. I got these because I know we're traveling and Matt loves these. These could be good dessert for Thanksgiving. Boo Fit Bars. Boo Bars. Are these in the refrigerated section? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. You gotta cool. keep them refrigerated. And then we had these the other day. So good. I didn't really like them that much. Oh my God, I loved them. Yeah. So I got this pack and then the last thing I got, because I was gonna grab some meat for dinner because they had a ton of great stuff. You can see in the clip, but I didn't have time. So I just grabbed one of these packs. Awesome. Yeah, so we can do something with the bacon, right? I really wanna go back tomorrow. If oh, we, we can do bacon wrapped chicken breast. Are you joking? I used to always do that when I was in college. What is my theory on bacon wrapped anything? You have a good theory. It's that if you, what, if you wanna have, taste bacon, just cook just bacon. Since, why would you wrap anything in bacon? It really just ruins the bacon yeah. and the food it's, and the chicken itself. Yay! Drink it. No, this is the first filter, so you're supposed to discard this water because I just changed the filters, but that looks clear to me. Did you show them how blue it was? Yeah. Okay guys, it's dinner time. And I had a snack. I had a serving of the Natola granola that you've seen. It's just low carb granola we get at Whole Foods. It's really good. Made from nuts. So what we have for dinner is bacon wrapped chicken, which I have not made. I used to make this all the time in college, but I haven't made it. I don't think I've ever made it for you, have I? No. Oh, you need your barbecue sauce, right? And then we also got butternut squash. Cinnamon and salt. Yeah, for the squash season, gotta live it up. And we got a sponsor for the video today. We do. New on the scene, perfect keto nut butter. But these are like new flavors and they're in these big they're packages. they're packets, like pouches. Travel. They're like traveling, especially with like, now that we have a kid, this is something I think like I would pack. Yeah, but the flavors are really good. They're like unique. This one is almond butter and jelly. That's my favorite. So like peanut butter and jelly kind it of. It tastes like peanut butter and jelly, like a combo. Chocolate hazelnut, so kind of like Nutella. Mm-hmm. And then Snickerdoodle, which I haven't tried this one. And we got like a special deal, I think, right? Advanced yeah. sale or something. Early access to Cyber Week deals. So perfectketo.com slash Keto Connect up to 50 off because you can do, let me just read this to you guys. Keto Connect 20, Keto Connect 30, Keto, Keto Connect 40, or Keto Connect 50. 20% off one item, 30% off two items, 40 off three, 50 off five. Cyber Week is such a scam to get your money. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I think it's Stuff legit. Stuff is so dumb. I think it's super legit. I'm all- It's I'm, just the height of consumerism. I'm really into Black Friday and Cyber Cyber Monday. If I see a deal, like, yeah, I'll buy something, but I just hate it. Like, everything is manipulation to get all your money. What did you think of the nut butter? I like this one a lot. You like that one better? I want to retry the almond butter and jelly one. That one is two nut carbs per two tablespoons. Theo does not like this cover. Whoa. Mmm, that one's really good. So, I like the jelly one the best. I like the jelly one the best, too. The code and all that stuff is down below. And I wanted to talk about some big news and just some stuff that's been happening. You know, let's hang, okay, eat let dinner. Let me swap sides real quick. The bacon wrapped chicken is just as good as I remember. All you do for this is you cut the chicken breast into strips, wrap bacon around it, cook it in a frying pan. If you want to get really crazy, you can put cheese on top at the end, too. I used to do that. We got some big news, guys. The Curve membership site is coming soon. I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys to sign up to get on the wait list. And in a week from now, we're going to pick maybe like 100 or so beta testers from that list to test out the meal planner and just get some feedback on how everything's working Yeah. to make sure that it's good and like just fill in the cracks of whatever you guys want that we haven't delivered. Give us some feedback. So there's that. And I just want to talk about generally. So there's this new thing with YouTube. I was telling Mega about it. Yeah. COPPA it's called. Child Online Privacy Protection Act or something. Mm -hmm. Basically any YouTube channel that's for kids is gonna be demonetized, right? Yeah, like up to 80 or 90%. Th Theo's favorite YouTube channel, Dave yeah, and Ava. Yeah, Dave and Ava. <laughs> and they, they probably ha make so much money off that channel. Tons, yeah. So I've been having this thought for a long time, ever since we started basically our business, is that we are beholden to the tech overlords, right? So YouTube owned by Google, for example. Amazon affiliates is how we make a fair bit of money. Mm -hmm. um, just things like that, like Facebook, you know, all these social media sites to generate traffic. So imagine if you're in our situation, you create your entire business, you pour thousands of man hours, you hire employees on this business built for like making videos for kids. And the next day YouTube's like, nah, I can't do that. We're gonna demonetize you 80 to 90%. That's well within the realm of what they can do. Just to go a little further, the dystopian future that may never come to fruition, but I'm kind of scared of, is one where the vegans win and you can't even like really even talk about eating meat and like saying saturated fat doesn't cause heart disease is not allowed on mm -hmm. Google or on YouTube. Like maybe I'm being paranoid, 
but you know, 10 years down the road, who knows where we're at, right? That is a big reason why we're creating the membership site. So a lot of these people that have YouTube videos, they'll do Patreon, which in my opinion is cheap, lazy, and just bad. It's well, good, it it's good for certain offering. scenarios. It depends yeah. on who you are. Like Trisha Paytas, like that's, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing with that is, is Patreon is another tech overlord. They can cut off funding to you for any reason. Mm. And I thought it would be a better idea to actually give people something amazing in return for their money instead of just asking for it kind of as like, you really like what we do, support us. Yeah. So that's what the membership site is. All of our videos hosted independently of YouTube. Plus extras, like yeah. not just the ones you see on YouTube, but it's gonna be a lot of other stuff that's exclusive only for members. Yeah. Um, the meal plan being a big thing, other courses hosted by other people you know from YouTube, like going really in depth, like really just educational. Uh, just quickly back to the COPPA thing. How do they, why do they determine like kids channels? Like it just makes no sense to me. Because why wouldn't they want to advertise? That's the thing. With all these rules YouTube has, they're arbitrary. So they're the ones who gets to say what's what. And like, what's the benefit of so, doing that? So I would imagine COPPA is gonna actually benefit us. It's not gonna hurt us. That's my initial thought, but yeah. who knows? But that doesn't mean that you're safe and there's not like another thing coming down the pipeline, you know? I think YouTube doesn't make a lot of money because hosting videos is really expensive. You know, they're trying to like cast a wide net, get everyone using it, and then slowly ramp up the monetization. Kind of like what Netflix does where it's super cheap, like why would you not have Netflix? And yeah. the next thing you know, it's like 20 bucks, you know? But you're still like, you're not gonna yeah. be like, I'm canceling my subscription, you're gonna pay it. That's unfortunate, because I'm sure it started off as something just like so incredible, like, you know, you know, freedom of speech, like let's- YouTube, yeah. yeah. YouTube was all about you having your own channel. Platform. And that's originally why people loved YouTube is because it's more relatable and you just see like idiots like us, we turn on a camera and we upload it. Yeah. What do you guys think about my dystopian future idea? It's definitely a far way off if ever, but I also wouldn't have thought like children's channels would be demonetized. Like that's obviously not extreme as extreme, but like it, do it doesn't make sense to me still. I would this, have to know the reasoning. Yeah, this is what scares me. So something they're starting to crack down on is misinformation, which on its face is like, that's good. You want people not to believe in crazy things because then everyone's better off. Then you start looking at like what they count as misinformation. So it's like flat earth, right? I think we're eventually gonna get towards stuff where it's like, I believe in something they may consider misinformation. I think I'm right. Saturated fat causing heart disease would be one example. Mm -hmm. But like, if you look into things like vaccines, this is like controversial, you guys always comment, I never give my opinion on vaccines. We don't give our opinion on But like, I'm not giving my opinion away, but like say there is a reasonable case for vaccines being bad. You can't say that. And this video may even be demonetized for me saying that. And I'm not even saying that that's my opinion. Yeah, and something we touched on lightly in like a vlog a while ago that you pointed out was like when you look up something political like news, they give you a little memo at the top, yeah. like the update, but they it's They tell like, you what to think. They tell you what's right. It's super biased. If I was like viewing it and I saw it, I'd be like, oh, that's interesting. But Matt pointed out like how it's actually just kind of telling you what to think. They're choosing a side, essentially. Because don't you want to be neutral when you're such a big company like that? You don't want to yeah. have a point of view that can be just like... Yeah, I would say so. Negative. Actually, funny, my, when my brother was here, my brother like does one meal a day kind of. Like he just, he works a lot and he's not like a big foodie like us. So he'll like work all day and then he'll just end up having one big meal. And I think his girlfriend was like telling him that that's not like, that's not good for you. You should be like eating around the clock. Like, you know, the old thinking like six small meals a day. And I was like, no, actually a lot of people do one meal a day. And it's like, it works for a lot of people and it's, it could be really good for you. Sometimes I'm just so far in this bubble, I don't realize people still buy margarine. Like a lot of yeah, people. We're say. having a conversation. It's like, yeah, I get earth balanced <laughs> margarine. She does. Because right. it's healthier for you. Yeah. I didn't realize like, I don't know. You think people are starting to wake up, but yeah, it's, it's like, so a lot of people just don't really even think about it much. No. The use of food is just like a tool to lose weight or gain weight. It's not like nutrition or health, anything attached to it like that, right? Well, food is power. I'm reading this book, basically where, with the advent of food storage is when there started to be big men, which are like powerful men, where it used to just be everyone fended for themselves. But once humans figured out the ability to store food for the winter, mm -hmm. that's when power began, and now we're where we're at today. Mega's on the hunt for something. 
Tupperware to put my chicken away. And I forgot to tell you guys, as I was cooking, I usually have some sauerkraut, probably about a quarter cup, so I had some of this. And then when I'm trying to be a good boy, but I still want an after dinner snack, I come over to Chocolate Alley over here. And I have myself a few squares of dark chocolate. So this is 88% dark chocolate, and this amount right here is six net carbs. I made a fatty decaf tea, so decaf chai tea, tablespoon of coconut oil, a scoop of MCT oil powder, chocolate flavored, and a tablespoon of cocoa powder. You know when you say chai tea, you're basically saying tea tea, right? I know. Someone DM'd us that. And can I say like he wasn't even Indian? He's telling an Indian what chai means. I do as the Americans do. I live in America. We're trying to communicate with Americans. Yeah, exactly. If I just said chai, some of you might not know. Why don't you know. just speak in Hindi? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yum. This is it for me for the end of the day. Yeah, Miley okay. is just so dead. Wow. Wow. All right, guys, that was our day of eating. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Don't stress so much. Just, you know, make, Share you, make the most of it. Share an opinion you have that in five years, YouTube might not deem worthy of recognition. That's a good one. Below. Comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>